Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. Today's topic will be our brand new integration between WP Data Tables and Forminator Forms. Uh, this is the brand new uh, integration that is available in free version and also in our full version. And Alexander today will show us how you can create forms and tables from that forms. So without further ado, we can dive in. Okay, uh, as Bogdan mentioned, uh, this add-on is free and uh, it can be used with uh, Forminator Pro and Forminator uh, Basic, also free version. Um, you can download the add-on on wordpress.org. Uh, it's named WP Data Tables Integration for Forminator Forms. You can download it from here, no need to pay anything. Um, you can create uh, basically anything from the forms, from the quizzes, and from polls. And uh, we already have a few of those created. So in Forminator, in the dashboard, we can see that we already have uh, three active modules, the contact form, the consumer poll, and common sense quiz. So um, let me show you real quick how those look on the front end. We'll just add, for example, um, card type poll. Uh, what card type do you own? Let's say diesel and boat. And here you can actually see um, how, how it looks like on the pie chart. Um, okay, so common sense quiz need to enter the uh, email address. For example, let's type in John Doe. I agree, submit, and you're taken to the quiz. So where is Eiffel Tower located? In Paris, it's automatically um, shown as green if it's a correct answer. What state of matter is water? Let's say solid, so it's in red, not correct. Um, what's two plus two? It's four. What is basketball played with? Uh, sword. Yeah, and you got three out of five correct. Uh, next is the contact form where you enter your name, for example, TMS. You can see that it's mandatory. Uh, example, with the email address, if you click on it and click away, it says this is a required field. So let's type in test email, phone number, and gender send message and that's it okay and WP data tables okay before we continue can you show us in the plugins page which plugins do of we course, need yes in the plugins page what you need is first WP data tables light or full version uh, we okay. have full version installed right here current version is 3.5 uh, we need the add-ons so WP data tables integration for form native forms and we need the Formulator plugin. <clears throat> okay. So those okay. three need to be enabled in order for this uh, add-on to work. Um, back to the table. So we create a table. We select uh, create a table link to an existing data source. And in here, we choose the type, which is Formulator form, and we choose the contact form, for example. So contact form table we choose the fields we want to use we can skip the entry date entry id and uh, user ip those are added uh, automatically by the forms plugin and we save the changes so here it is first name uh alfred first name bogdan first name john if they entered both the first name and the last name they will be displayed mm -hmm. in a single cell like this and that cell will be expanded. So we now have the email address, the phone number, and gender. Okay. Um, next would be to create a table from, let's say, poll. Okay. So we, again, repeat the process. So poll table, and we choose formulated form. We choose the um, poll for the pie chart. So poll answers and total votes. We save changes. 
And here it is. Diesel, total number of floats nine, petrol, total number of floats four, and so on. From this table, let's create a chart real quick. So under create a chart, we can actually add a whole chart. We have the name, we choose the uh, render engine, which will be high charts and the pie chart um, chart. We choose the poll table, click on next, and then we select these two fields and we can create mm -hmm. the pie chart from that table. There it is, chart is ready. So let's just create another table from the quiz. So again, create a table linked to an existing data source. Then form native form, quiz, quiz table, we select the fields. So those fields will be changed ba uh, based on which form is selected first? Of course, yes, the, the fields are being pulled from, from the form. Mm, okay. So we select all these and now you will see that they are displayed. Correct answers are in green. Uh, incorrect answers are in red. You can see the email, the name, uh, how many correct answers were in the quiz, how many incorrect answers were in the quiz, and uh, the results of the quiz. If you don't like these colors, they can be changed in formulated forms. So um, let's. Okay, basically, I can see that there is formulator settings right there in the tab. Yes. What yes. does that mean? Uh, you can filter by entry uh, ID range. So based on the entry ID, which is a field right here, entry mm -hmm. ID, we can just show it real quick. This is the ID of the entry uh, taken from Formulator. So when you add that, um, okay, it's here. Here it is. Mm -hmm. So you can filter the table based on that range. So for example, if you want to show all responses between 43, 40 and 45, you can just filter it right there on the spot. And when you save the changes, you will see only those entries. Okay. Right you can also set the filter by entry date and you can choose a, a date range from, I don't know, uh, July 1st until July 15th, or mm -hmm. you can choose uh, filter by last time period. So you can set here uh, filter for the past five days, weeks, months, or years. So these are options that you can uh, work with in the table and they are pulled from the form. Okay. Is there any maybe a list uh, where we can see which the column types can we use uh, with Forminator? Which column types can yeah. be used? Yes, you can uh, take a look at this description on mm -hmm. on WordPress.org. Uh, the list uh, of supported fields is right here in the bullet list, so you can take a look there. Um, the fields like uh, reCAPTCHA, HTML, page break section, and GDPR are excluded from the tables because you don't actually yeah. need them for the table. Um, while we're here, uh, you can also use um, hooks in here. For example, fields like name and address will be formatted, and you can use these hooks um, in the plugin. So please uh, go ahead and take a look here. Uh, they are also available for quizzes and for polls. Um, the data from the same poll can be displayed in var or pie chart, mm -hmm, depending mm -hmm. on the settings. So in Forminator uh, dashboard and let's see this uh, poll, if we edit it, you can choose under behavior if it's going to be displayed in a pie chart or in a bar graph. Okay, okay, nice. Um, <clears throat> what's left to uh, show this on the front end? Yeah. You okay. can show the chart and the table, for example. Of course. So let's create a new page. Um, we'll call it 
Forminator um, table and chart. Thank you. We'll publish the page and edit it with uh, Elementor. So in here we can type in WP without a hyphen WP data table. So we can add the table right here. And we can add the chart below it. Okay, so chart is the poll chart and the table will be poll table. That's pretty much it. We can take a look at the page. So Here's the table, and here's the chart below. Okay. Now, we haven't enabled any uh, filtering in the chart, but we would be able to um, display different values in the chart if we enable that in, in, okay. the, in the chart right here. So if we go back and um, enable follow table filtering, and save the chart. Um, in here, when I refresh the page, if I type in diesel, only the diesel okay. uh, entries will be shown. Okay. Just to mention, if there are no entries in the forms, can you create a table uh, from there? No, you cannot create a table uh, without any entries in the form. You need to have something, at least, at least one, one entry in the form in order to create a table from it. Okay, okay. Thank you. That's You're welcome. I believe we covered everything. Yeah. If you if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And also please check our new add-on so you can try it by, by yourself. Right. Um, thanks guys. And as always, don't forget to like, like share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. See you in another video. Take care. Bye.